Since 9-11, Islam has been at the forefront of religious controversy. Most recently were protests against plans to build a mosque near Ground Zero, and last month a pastor from Gainesville contemplated burning copies of the Quran, Islam's holy Bible. Avan Aziz, president of FSU's Muslim Student Association, says that many non-Muslims have been culturally misinformed. I think a lot of resentment has been built up toward, over the years towards Islam um, through a combination of fear and ignorance. Those two combined create in a, a human emotion of, of terror. Despite negative publicity, FBI statistics show that of the 1,700 anti-religious hate crimes committed in 2008, only 7.5% targeted Muslims who ranked second behind Jews who were 66% of the targets. TPD Public Information Officer David McCraney says Tallahassee has seen a similar trend. To this point, we've been very fortunate. We have not had uh, specific attacks or uh, any type of violence or even graffiti directed specifically at Islam. However, the Muslim community has had to overcome at least one major effect of Islamophobia in the past decade. In 2002, a man drove his truck into the Islamic center of Tallahassee here on West Pensacola Street. He then went to a nearby bar to brag about it. But as you can see, the center has since been remodeled and the congregation, which now stands at about 600 members, continues to grow. For News 20 at 5, I'm Philip Rivers reporting.